Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding a vertical line that is dynamic on a Excel chart. Now you could use this for a target value or you could use it for averages. I'm going to use it for a target value. So what I'm going to do is start out by adding my target value. So I'm going to put a couple of figures in these cells and it doesn't really matter what numbers you use because we're just using these to plot. I'm using 0 and 5. I would start with 0 if I were you but you could use 1 or 2 or 10 for this number here. And then we're going to put in the cell opposite these the exact same value because that's going to give us our straight line. And at this point this might be your average or in my case it's going to be a target value. So my target value is 80,000. So I'm going to put it in this cell here and I'm going to put it in this cell here. If you were working with averages then you could calculate an average in this cell, the average of these values and you could do it again in here. These two numbers should be identical. Now we're going to start adding this data to our chart and this is where you need to keep your wits about you because we're going to be going backwards and forwards to a dialogue. So I'm going to the chart design one and I'm going to choose select data because this is going to allow us to add this data here. So I'm going to click here on add and you can see here that I get the chance to add the series name and the values. Well let's start with the values. I'm going to wipe out what is here right now, just delete that go to the up arrow key. I'm just going to select these two values here and then I'm going to give my series a name so I don't have to bother about that later on. Now this would be average if you were using average but I'm going to use target value. You just want to use a descriptor that tells you what these numbers are. For me it's a target value, for you it might be an average or something else. I'll click OK and then OK again. So we have the data in our charts but it's not by any means what we want it to be. So the next thing to do is to click on this data and change the chart type. So we're going to select just these two orange bits and we're going up here to change chart type. And here in the bottom dialog you can see this is the target value, yours might read average. We're going to drop this list down and we're going to select X, Y scatter with straight lines. Now that's really important. This is not a line graph. It is an X, Y scatter with straight lines. And you can see that's going to be plotted on the secondary axis and you don't get a choice with that. It does need to be plotted on the secondary axis. We'll click OK. Now at this point that you might think that things are starting to go pretty haywire. They sort of are but they're sort of not as well. So let's click back on our chart and let's go and tell Excel how we want to plot this data that we've just given it because it's not plotting it correctly. So we're going back here to select data and we're going into target value and we're going to edit our data. Now what we want to do at this point is to leave our series name in place. That's perfect, that's exactly what it should be. But our series X value should be this data here and our series Y value should be this data here. So let's click here on the X value and let's make that whatever it is, your target value or your average. And then we're going to this one here which is wrong right now. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to select these dummy numbers. In my case it's 0, 05, you could use 0, 02, 0, 04, 0, 010, whatever you like. I'm going to click here on the down pointing arrow and you can see that now we've got the line on our chart. I'll click OK and then OK again. So at this point you should have a vertical line on your chart. It's not perfect right now but that's a really easy fix. So we're going to come over here to the secondary axis which is what our data is being plotted against. And depending on the values that you chose here you're going to get a data range that is going to match this. So I did from 0 to 5 and so I'm getting 0 to 6 near enough. If you did 0 to 1 you're going to get 0 to 1.2 something like that. We just need to fix this axis. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to choose let me just right click on the actual axis. We're going to choose format axis and it's these axis options here that we want. So we've got a minimum of zero, that's perfect, it's in the right place. But our maximum is six, we only go to number five so I'm going to delete that and add in five. So depending on what your numbers here are, you want to have the minimum and the maximum be these two numbers. And then just click close. 
So now we've got a vertical line on our chart. We've just got garbage over here. Well, garbage is really easily dealt with. We're just going to select it and we're going to press delete. And that will delete the axis, but it's not deleting the axis in terms of its controlling of this line. It's still controlling this line. We just can't see it. And at this point, we can hide these values. I'm going to select these two columns, right click and choose hide. Now, if it happens to you, as it just happened to me, that our data has disappeared, don't panic. It's very easy to get it back. We're going to click back on our chart. We're going to the chart design tab and we're going back to select data. And here we're going to click on hidden and empty cells. And we're going to choose show data in hidden rows and columns because our data is hidden because we hid it and now we can show it back on our chart. I'll click OK and then OK again. So now we have a vertical data line. In my case, it's a target line on our chart, but we've lost our legend. So let's go back and put our legend on. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going back to legend and I'm going to put my legend at the bottom so it's not in the way of my chart. Now, I don't need series one. I don't actually need to even describe this series. It's really self-evident. So I'm going to click on the legend and then click on series one and press delete to just get rid of it. And here now is our target value. So it's actually reading target value. So our chart is now really clearly showing that the target value for our sales was 80,000 units for each product. We've got two products that are exceeding that and all the rest of our products are below our target. It. If we needed to make changes, we would simply redisplay the cells that contain the data. I'll right click and choose unhide. And in this case, if we said our target was really 70,000, I'm going to change that. And now we have a target value of 70,000 units. In fact, it would be better if I had linked these two cells together, which I'm now going to do. I'm just going to type the equal sign and point to this cell for my second target value. So now if I change this cell to, for example, 60,000, this cell will change as well. And our target value line is going to change. Again, I'm just going to select these columns, right click and hide them. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.